as motoring enthusiasts, we're soon going to have to accept that some of the vehicles that are there in our garage have to become all electric, especially the ones that we commute on. Electric scooters are booming right now in India with multiple manufacturers turning up left, right and center. But the electric bike market is still yet to be tapped properly. And that's why if you're an enthusiast, I think so the only vehicle that you should have, especially when it comes to two wheelers, is an electric motorcycle, not a scooter. Pure EV has understood this concept. That's why they've come out with this thing over here. This is an electric motorcycle by Pure EV called the e 350. And today I'm going to tell you all about this amazing motorcycle. Just like most motorcycles, we're going to start with the power plant of this bike. And whereas most bikes will have an internal combustion engine over here, the e trist has its battery and motor. Talking about the motor, you get a 4 kilowatt peak motor and a 3.5 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. It gets three riding modes, which is drive, crossover, and thrill. And thrill being the most aggressive one, you get an 85 kilometers an hour top speed. Pure EV also claims that 0 to 40 kph can be achieved in 4.4 seconds and it has regenerative braking and also at 60 km an hour the e trist produces 60 newton meters of torque. Hop on the e trist and it's more or less like any conventional bike you've ever sat on. But there are a few things that kind of scare you for the first time. Well, first of it is that the lack of a brake lever over here and the lack of a gear shifter on this side because this thing has no gears. And the rear brake has been shifted over here to the left hand side of the handlebar and your normal front brake is over here on the right. Talking about the cluster, you get a digital instrument cluster up in front of you. You get some basic stats like what mode you're in, what your, the speed you're doing and your odometer and battery levels. On the right hand side, you have your riding mode selector 1, 2 and 3 for drive, crossover and thrill. You also get a start stop ignition switch for some reason. I don't know how to use that but I'm pretty sure it will be used in some sort of way. And on the left hand side you have your turn indicator buttons and your uh, headlight buttons. A cool little feature that Pure EV has given is that most motorcycles have their tank opening over here to fill fuel in. Well, they've given a charging port over here. So just press on it like this and you're given a charging entry for your battery. When it comes to the looks, the e trist looks like a concoction of some of the most recognizable bikes you can buy today. It looks like a Hornet, NS200, Pulsar, whatever you want to call it. They've all been taken, put it into a blender and the e trist has come out is what it looks like. And well, it is not a bad looking bike in any sort of way. And you have a cool few elements here and there to make sure that you get that sporty feeling while riding. Especially when it comes to the area near the battery where you have this kind of fake trellis frame kind of a design going on the front headlight is very aggressive looks very similar to something like a hornet but overall the bike is not really that performance oriented it looks more of a normal commuter bike rather than something like a revolt which is a little bit more aggressive the e 350 is definitely a very interesting and very appealing product in the market right now because first of all electric scooters are very abundant at the moment and electric bikes aren't that much so the e 350 is technically going against only the Revolt 400V and the Revolt 400V well it's kind of a weird product I would say when it came out it was very hyped up but when the actual product was given in the hand of customers people were not so impressed we really hope that the e is not a product like that but looking at pure EV's track record they have produced some very interesting and very appealing products like I said the e 350 is in a very niche segment of its own because it's a motorcycle and we really hope that more manufacturers step into the motorcycle game and make proper enthusiast electric motorcycles thank you so much for watching check out the new e 350 at pure EV and this is Soam Saraf and I'll talk to you in the next one